Hey friends, so just a little over one year ago, um, I let go of building a dream and I closed a church. Um, it honestly was one of the most heartbreaking things for me to do. And after I preached my last sermon in that church, I came home, I turned off all social media, and I honestly was just overwhelmed with complete sadness, you know, for the next several months. Um, it took a long time for me to find healing. And each day, you know, I worked hard to kind of climb out of that despair and focus on the good things that were still in my life. And I'd eventually get a job, a good job that I thought was good. You know, um, it wasn't necessarily my dream job, but it was a good job. And it provided for my family and it gave a landing place to climb out of the darkness. And I think for like the first time in a long time, you know, I was seeing some light again. And, um, and then on April 12th of this year, I was terminated from my job uh, through no fault of my own, just the roll of the dice and, uh, you know, poor leadership decisions. And, um, you know, I thought I had already experienced my lowest point, but apparently things can get much lower. And I didn't know how I was going to face my kids that day, you know, and tell them that, you know, their dad didn't have a job. I was really crushed. Christy and I have always had a real hope and belief in spite of what feels like, honestly, the worst 18 months of our lives. And that belief and that hope is that God is still good, that he really does love us. And we've tried hard to rest in that assurance and to you know, really demonstrate that faith. And I think social media allows for like all these bright moments to shine and the dull ones and the really horrible ones to seem like everything's still awesome and great. But I don't want you to think that I've been perfect in my faith through all of this. The truth is, is that it was the hardest thing for me to do to kind of let go of the church. Uh, it was hard to even go back to church. It was hard to sing. It was hard to be around people. And there have been some dark moments where I felt paralyzed and I've lost my cool with my kids or, you know, I haven't even really been present. And um, there's been some moments where, you know, all I could do is I just would go and lay down in my two-year-old's room and I just cry. But I really do believe this, that God hasn't forgotten us because even despite my moments of doubt, you know, he has shown up from day one. Every month when we weren't sure how we were going to, you know, pay the bills, God miraculously provided through others. And it's not just in like some like small way, but it was in like big ways. One day I felt like completely paralyzed. Like I couldn't even make a decision about like what to feed the kids for lunch that day. And in one hour's time, I had like two people call me and show up with checks that took care of our bills for the next two months. And in that same hour, Christy received a message about getting a job. And that type of thing has just happened over and over. And it wasn't just providing like physical needs. Many times it would be like just a simple encouragement of someone like calling or just showing up exactly when we needed it. And, uh, there have just been some friends and family who have loved us on us just like in extravagant ways. And it's been like the most humbling experience in my life. And, um, and I, I don't even know what to say about it. So here we are and we're still hanging on. And I would like to tell you that I've like got like some solid answers after the last six months you know, of all of this. And I still don't. Christy and I have like opened ourselves back up to ministry. And, and so that could happen. Um, in the meantime, I'm launching my career and life coach business. Um, and I'm just more nervous about the next 60 days than I think I've ever been about anything in my life. And so, uh, the new website, um, www.jeremytutor.com is going live September 15th at 8.30 p.m. Uh, I don't know. There is just something so vulnerable and scary about putting yourself out there. Um, I don't want to fail again, you know?
But uh, I think that's the creative part in us is that you just got to put yourself out there and, and you have to go for it, right? And so, uh, so you can help, all right? Um, and I know for many of us, we may just be Facebook friends, but look, this is like a way you can really help somebody. I'm keeping my personal Facebook page personal, all right? It's just going to be just family, just friends. Uh, I'll keep it exactly that. Um, but I do now have a Jeremy Tudor page, not to confuse you. And uh, here's my promise to all of you. I won't double post and I'm not going to jam up your feed with all of my career coaching business stuff on my personal page. All right. You'll just get the, the cute pictures of the kids and uh, what I make for dinner. All right. Y'all seem to like that. That will all be on my personal page. All of my coaching career life stuff like that will be on my business page. But here's how you can help. You can go like my page and follow it so that stuff does come up and you can know what's going on in that part of my world. But you can also like this post, give it lots of likes. Uh, go ahead, you know, give it some hearts. Those are always fun. Uh, make comments below like, yay, you know, stuff like that. Um, and share it out, right? Um, and so over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start sharing more about all of the stuff that's going on uh, with JeremyTutor.com. And I'm really excited about this journey. And I hope you'll come along with me along the journey. So, okay. So, you are to like this video, uh, heart it, uh, comment in it if you'd like to, share it out to everyone uh, that you can think of possible. Make sure you go over to Jeremy Tudor, the page, follow it, share it out, okay? Uh, and then get ready for the new JeremyTutor.com live launch on September 15th at 8.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. All right, I love you all. Now go thrive and go do what you love.